Patricia Gibson. Thank you, yeah. Madam Deputy Speaker. Support for Scottish independence is now at 56%, yeah. with a majority for yes in almost all age groups, with yeah. a majority of people supporting independence in every single region of Scotland. Yeah. Now, yeah. I am, everybody in this House is well aware of the Leader of the House's views on Scottish independence, so she need not reiterate her opinion on that because we're well aware. But will she make a statement to the House setting out why she thinks what she thinks are the reasons for this continued rising support for Scottish independence. Yeah. 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 Well, the, what the Honourable Lady claims is, is not uh, borne out. If you look at uh, uh, who uh, people vote for across Scotland, it's not. The, the Scottish National Party are now a single issue party. Uh, they are not gripping the issues that are affecting people in Scotland, um, and there is growing disquiet at that. We've, we've heard this week from the uh, Auditor General with regard to financial mismanagement, millions, hundreds of millions that he cannot even account for with regard to uh, the ferry contracts. I think that as we come out of the pandemic, as we want our public services to be able to recover, that should be the focus of the Scottish Nationalist Government.